Hello everyone, so in this video we are trying to do a CAN communication between Arduino and Raspberry Pi. This figure can be considered as the system overview for the experiment that we are trying to do. So uh, as you can see, uh, the nodes are created out of Arduino Uno and Raspberry Pi. So we have selected two Arduino Unos and one Raspberry Pi. And you, as Arduino Uno inherently doesn't have CAN controller, so what we have done is we used a CAN shield which has the CAN controller and the CAN transceiver. So similarly for Raspberry Pi, uh, we have a CAN shield which has CAN controller and CAN transceiver. So all these nodes are uh, connected using CAN bus. Uh, now let's check the hardware setup that we used for this. So here you can see the three CAN nodes that we have used. So we have two Arduinos, the one on the right and the middle and one on the left is, is, is the Raspberry Pi which is connected with the CAN network. So we have this uh, right side node as the node sensing node. So we have a DHT11 sensor which is connected to Arduino and on top of which we have the CAN controller or the CAN shield. So this node will basically sense the temperature and humidity value and transmit it across the CAN network. So from the sensing node, we are transmitting the uh, DHT11 sensor data through this custom DB9 connector which has CAN high and CAN low and ground line. So you can see this is connected uh, from the uh, rightmost node to the central node. And from that, I have used the CAN high and CAN low lines directly connected to the shield which is provided in the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is the serial monitor of the sensing node. So you can see the humidity and the temperature value and uh, you can see the confirmation of the uh, transmission of the CAN message. The CAN messages uh, transmitted by the sensing node is received by the uh, Raspberry Pi node and uh, it calculates whether the uh, temperature and humidity is beyond uh, the threshold set in the code in Raspberry Pi and if it is greater than the threshold the Raspberry Pi sends another CAN message in the network which is taken up by the uh, actuator node which is uh, the middle Arduino board and based on the value that is transmitted uh, uh, the Arduino that middle Arduino the uh, actuator Arduino will actuate the relay in order to increase the temperature I have used this soldering iron and placed it near the DHT11 sensor this temperature value is continuously being transmitted over the CAN network and the temperature received at the Raspberry Pi is compared against a threshold and if it's greater than the threshold another CAN message is transmitted which is received by the middle CAN node and based on it actuation is taken uh, This is the SSH console of the Raspberry Pi in which we are running the code so here you can see the messages with an ID 0x12 that is received from the sensing node and another message we are transmitting with an ID 13. Uh, so the CAN message uh, with a message 13 has total 8 bytes of data and in which the first byte will be always uh, continuously sent with the data 0 if the threshold is not bad and if the threshold is breached that is about 30 degrees celsius we are sending uh, the byte 0 of the message with message id 0x13 as 1 so this value is the one that uh, defines or determines whether the relay in the arduino node is to be activated or so here we have just added one console message like activation message sent uh, when the byte 0 of the can id message 0x13 is 1 so uh, remaining time also we will have mess can messages being transmitted in the network but it will be with 0 in the field byte 0 here we have the uh, serial monitor for the arduino node which acts as the uh, actuation node that is the one that is having a relay connected to it so here uh, basically we will be receiving the can messages transmitted from the raspberry pi and uh, we are 
uh, also the other node but we are filtering out the message with the id 0x13 that is the message uh, transmitted by the raspberry pi if the byte 0 of that message is filled with a value 1 we will activate the relay else if it's filled with 0 we are uh, uh, turning off the relay and uh, the remaining 7 bytes of data will uh, is being transmitted with value ff uh, so we are not taking care of that values so at this instant the raspberry pi is transmitting the message uh, with id 0x13 so you can see the byte 0 is having a value either 0 or 1 depending on what is the temperature value so once the byte 0 is having a value 1 we are enabling or triggering the relay so which is considered as the actuation here and you can see uh, once the threshold is uh, met even if we are repeatedly sending one we are not actuating the relay for every message rather than that we have written a logic in such a way that only when there is a change in the status from the previous scan message by zero we are triggering or activating the relay or deactivating the relay so here you can see the relay getting uh, activated uh, so based on the value that is transmitted from the rightmost node it goes to the CAN network and the Raspberry Pi filters uh, that message alone and based on the value it compares against the threshold and if that value of temperature is greater than the threshold it, uh, the Raspberry Pi triggers another CAN message with a message ID 13 and which is filtered out by the uh, actuator node that is a middle Raspberry Pi node and if it has an activation value of 1 it activates the relay so once the uh, temperature goes down below 30 uh, the raspberry pi will stop sending the message with the value of, of byte 0 as 1 instead of it it will send with the value 0 and the relay will be turned off by the middle node so the source code for both arduinos and the raspberry pi will be shared in the uh, github uh, and the link will be provided in the description so if you guys have any clarification or doubt do uh, post it as the comment or a query i'll try to respond it as well to my knowledge so thank you for watching this video and do share if you like it